Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming to the channel today. I'm so excited that you showed up. We are continuing our series in QuickBooks Point of Sale on multiple units of measure. The last video we showed, uh, we actually set up our wonderful highlighter item with uh, a box and 12 single eaches in it so that we can sell, 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 right? Uh, today we're going to show you how you can actually do the ordering from your vendor by the box and then uh, later on on a different video you can see how you can sell and you can choose which unit of measure you want before we jump into it don't forget to click on the link down in the description below so that you can get over to our QuickBooks point of sale Facebook group you can ask questions or request videos uh, community members and myself will be answering your questions for you for free. That's right, for free. Join up there. I'd be happy to see you over there. If you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe. Well, let's get into this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a purchase order because I want to order some stuff from my vendor. My vendor is going to be Knives Unlimited because that's where I said my highlighters come from for some reason. <laughs> I'm gonna type in orange highlighter, so I choose that here, and you can see right off the bat that the unit of measure is by the box. And so, the cost is two. I'm gonna order mm, 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 10 of these. No, five of these, <laughs> which cost $10. And you can see right here, we have eaches and we have boxes. And of course, we are gonna order by the box so that we can get this in and split it up and sell them off singly and make even more money because there's more margin on selling stuff in smaller amounts. And you'll see that across the board. That's why you go to um, Sam's Club or Costco and you get these big bulk items and you know, you're going there because you're saving money because you're buying more at a time. But in your store, in your retail setting, if you're kind of a smaller store, you want to do the opposite. You want to buy in big amounts, in big bulk quantities, big cases, big boxes, and then you want to split that out and you want to sell it single, 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 because each single will have a higher margin than a large pack. It's just how retail works. And welcome to the retail world. Now you know. So there I have it. I got the box. I'm, I'd am i probably email this to my vendor or something like that. And I can save or save and print. And there you go. You have just ordered from your vendor in large, big units so that you can break them down when they get here using multiple units of measure in QuickBooks Point of Sale. <laughs> All right. If this video was excellent, go ahead and hit the like button down below. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. You have yourself a great day. Bye.